everyone, it's me, Life Caramel, and in this video we're going to be doing a review on all of these new toy cars I have. So I got these toy cars with my pocket money, yes I have pocket money, um, they were only £9, they are pretty cheap, but I think you might all agree with me, these look amazing, so we're going to be doing a review on all of these. Let's get into it. We'll start with my favourite, so this one is a really cool shark, um, Car, and I just really love it because it is literally it looks amazing. It has these amazing like metal teeth um, on the side. Hold on, let me show you. Yeah, sorry, you can probably see a bit better now, but yeah, it has just amazing teeth. I mean, they are amazing. I mean, they made out of real metal, and I love the like fin on his head. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and I love the shade of blue as well. I mean, all in all, I think it's just an amazing car. Next, let's take a look at this car. I just, it's kind of plain, but I kind of like it. I think it's quite, yes, it's quite, you know, unattractive and things. I mean, it's quite plain, but I just, for some reason, I'm quite fond of it. I think it just looks kind of with all the like sharp bends at the back of it. I, just, I mean, yeah, yeah, it is. I can agree with you if you think it's like plain and boring, but. I just think it looks cool, especially the windscreen here. I think that looks cool. I think it's like purposely looks dainted because I got these like two days ago. I don't think it actually look. I don't think it would get damaged that quickly. So yeah, I think they're like actually meant to be on there as if it's like a race car that's been crashed, which I think is a, if it is actually the case, uh, I think it's a really cool texture and addition to add to the car. So next we're going to look at this car. I love this car because unlike the other one, like the white one, which is like a driving car, obviously, like an expensive driving car, like a Tesla, this one is clearly a racing car. I mean, it just looks amazing. And I love the headlights on the front. I think they're really cool and shiny. And I like the bit at the back. I don't really know what it's used for. I'm not very good with my knowledge of parts of a racing car and things. But whatever it is, I think it looks amazing. And... I love the shade of yellow. I mean, that just stands out in my opinion. I love that shade of yellow. Anyway, so that, yeah, that's um, my opinion on this thing. Next, looking at this. This is one of my favorites. It is, it just looks so cool. And by the way, these cars have names. I haven't read all of them, but this one is the Bone Crusher. And... By the way, how do you sit in this? I guess there's seats at the back, like here, at the back. They're written in there, but they don't think it'll be very comfortable. I think it's entirely made out of metal with the rubber wheels. So I can kind of see why it's called the Bone Crusher. It's a really cool name. That's the really other ones. Um, but yeah, this is just really cool. I love it. I mean, all the bits they've added, like the sort of wingy things on the side. I think that's really cool. Now we're going to look at this, um, but like the um, yellow racing car, this is just amazing. I mean, it has this sort of thingy at the back again. And I, don't, I think you can't really see it because it has like a long black bit covering most of the front of it, which is why you can't really see it. But I think you can see the amazing shade of blue. I mean, it like, it shines so much, which I think is amazing. So that's that. Now this one. This one's interesting. It has loads of like black parts to it. Like, to be honest, I don't know what half of them are. This is the world's biggest um, windscreen at the front. You don't even need it. Then it has the sunroof on the top. And at the back, it has something. I don't know if you can see it. Let me move the, the camera so maybe you can see it a bit. Yeah, you can now. So at the back, I don't know what that is. Is that, is that like a boot window? But yeah, it's interesting because there's like loads of um, bits of black stuff on the side. And then even the windows are like black, um, as you can see on the camera. But yeah, and the wheels are kind of cool. They're like white and they stand out with the rest of the car, which is kind of cool. This one is a lot more like really similar to the previous one we looked at because it's red. has loads of bits of um, black on it. So there's nothing really to look at on this car so let's not say anything let's just go to the next one this one 
is really cool. I mean, there's nothing really to look at on it. I mean, it's just black, but I think the color black on a car, I personally don't like the color black, but on a car or on a vehicle like this, and on a race car, I think it looks sick. I mean, I really like this car and I haven't read the name, but I like to call it the Knight Rider. By the way, say in the comments if you like that name. If you don't, I'll change it. Uh, but anyway, yeah, this is just a really cool car. I mean, it, you might not like it because there's barely anything to look at. But in my opinion, I just think it's amazing. So penultimately, we take a look at this yellow car. I don't know what all these like holes in it are. I think they're for the seats, I think, I'm guessing. But yeah, I think they are the seat holes. And then they have like the like, tiny thing at the back. Maybe that's like a mini seat for like five-year-old kids although i think it's kind of unlikely a five-year-old kid be, will be driving a race car with his dad if so then whoever's doing this to his son oh my god this father he's had a couple too many bottles of beer and stuff because seriously if he's driving his kid around in a race car then get some help but but my lobby for that uh hopefully not <laughs> anyway but i like this car in general i think it's cool in, in its own way <laughs> um because it's sort of abstract i mean it's really flat and then it has the i think the bit at the back from all the cars is for catching wind but anyway yeah I think this is interesting because the bit at the back is like flat on the back of the car. The headlights are tiny. There's like a black strip at the front. So it's in its own way, it's cool. Finally, we look at this. So this one I like, but it's not really a race car nor a driving, like a everyday driving car. It's a, a fire and rescue car. By the way, the pack that I got all these cars from, it comes in uh, random. Like, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's called Hot Wheels 10, it's quite good. So, you order a pack, but you don't know what pack you're gonna get. There's like 10, 11 packs of cars that you might get. And then a random pack just comes. You don't know what you're gonna get. To be honest, I was quite happy with the one I got. Um, and this one was different because it's not a everyday driving car or a, or a, like a racing car. It's a fire and rescue car, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, yeah, so that's actually the last car. If you enjoyed that video, please make sure to subscribe to Let's Carama. By the way, I might have a new channel. Uh, I might called Lights Camera Horror, which has horror films on it. So if you're not into that, then maybe don't go on it. Anyway, it's just a maybe. Bye for now.